What's up? My name is Elsa Ray, and today I have another face painted Photoshop tutorial for you. My last Photoshop tutorial got a really good response, so I thought I'd do another one, and I'm super excited about it. I paint half of my face white, and also bring that down onto the neck. Then around my opposite eye, I add some white eye-shaped paint strokes, and I paint the rest of my face black. Now I realized later that I didn't need to do this. I'm gonna be erasing this whole area anyway, so if you recreate this look, it doesn't really matter if you paint your face black or not. I'm next adding some contour using a light gray eyeshadow on my cheekbones, my jawline, and my temple area. And then I apply a little bit of a light black eyeshadow to my eyebrows. With the gray and the light black eyeshadow, I add a little bit of a smoky eye. It's super simple. I do some winged eyeliner and pop on some lashes. And then I move on to my lips. I'm taking the black face paint and some white face paint and making an ombre grayish lip. Again, super simple. Next, I took a CD and I split it in half so that the two layers were separated. And I took the bluish side and cut it into points. I used spirit gum to stick that to my face below one eye and above the other eye. Then I paint my hand white and I add the same points to my nails using spirit gum. Now the easy part's done and we can move on to the fun stuff. Like always, I open all my images in Adobe Bridge. I select them all, hit open in Camera Raw, and it opens them up in Photoshop Camera Raw. I go through and check them out and pick a few favorites. I picked this one because I liked how my fingernail was kind of crossing the black and the white. And then I do some simple adjustments of contrast, exposure, etc. Like I've said before, I do this camera raw process with all of my images because I shoot in raw. So there's a lot of information that I can adjust if I need to. And I also want my images to always look professional. When I've got it to a setting that I like, I hit open image and the images open in Photoshop. Now I'm gonna show you some of my most used Photoshop tools. First, I select the polygonal lasso tool. This tool allows me to make any polygon shapes that I want by clicking where I want to start my point and clicking at every other point that I want in my image. In this case, I made a weird rectangle. And when I hit my move tool, I can then take that selection and move it wherever I want. I'm not moving it anywhere. I just need it as a guideline to paint. Now I'm pressing B for the brush tool and I press and hold Alt to select my color. In this case, I'm obviously selecting black. I then start going around the edges of the selection that I made with the lasso tool so that I have a clean, sharp black line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert my selection so that everything else besides what I just had selected will be selected. The way that you do this is you hit Command Shift I or Control Shift I and the selection inverts. As you can see, I can move everything else that wasn't able to move earlier. And with my inverted selection, I am now going to crisp up the white side of my face. And I'm doing this with the stamp tool. The stamp tool works just like a real stamp. Again, you make a selection by holding Alt, and you can then take that selection and apply it anywhere with your cursor. This step can be a little tedious, especially if you don't have a large selection area. Just play around with it, see how it works. It begins to become second nature. This is a tool that's used very, very frequently in Photoshop. I finish off the rest of the white side and then I take the stamp tool and add a little bit of white on my shirt area. I shouldn't have been wearing a shirt, but I didn't really know where I was going with the makeup. Now we're gonna use another interesting tool. It's the magic wand tool. What the magic wand tool does is it will select things of different color from other things. So we've got this white hand and this black background. So it can very easily tell the difference between the colors of the pixels. As you can see in some areas, it's having a little bit of a hard time differentiating between pixel colors, but that's okay. All I need the tool to do is to add a nice selection around the hand so that I don't have to do a lot of work. I then deselect using Command D and take the brush tool and paint any places that didn't get any black before. What I'm doing next is taking the polygonal lasso tool and I'm creating triangle outlines around the triangle pieces above my eye. I'm doing this because the magic wand tool can't really pick up those triangles very well and I still want a really crisp black edge around all of those. And now 
I kind of touch up the white side. I add a little bit of white on top of my hair. And then I take the burn tool and kind of burn that away. I want my head to look a little bit like it's fading off into the black background. I clean up my neck and my shoulder area with the brush tool. And then I go right back into the burn tool and I darken up my eyes. I then take the dodge tool and I lighten up the whites of my eyes. I've said this before as well, I use these tools very sparingly on my regular images because I, I just feel like it's cheating. But in this Photoshop tutorial, it's fair game. Next, I crop the image and make sure everything is looking great. And that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you like this video. These are so fun to do. I love being able to show you Photoshop. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and all the rest of my social media accounts are listed below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.